Hello again. Um, I just wanted to sit here and ramble today, uh, give you another like kind of somewhat life update video style of thing. Some people enjoy these. Um, I know that some people may think they're a bit like doom and gloom and stuff. Hopefully this one isn't. Um, but yeah, I was thinking to myself yesterday and today and I thought just turn on the camera and talk about it to an audience. Uh, but to myself, I was thinking, even though it's been a terrible couple months after losing my job, um, it may be for the best. It might be the best thing that happens to me this year. Um, because what I've what I've discovered is that it actually allowed me to do something I enjoy more, which is the, the YouTube thing, right? I've always done it. Um, I think my channel is almost six years old. I did it for the passion of it, for the fun of it. Um, my channel wasn't even monetized until the end of last year. I don't think it's been monetized for 365 days. Maybe around that, maybe. Um, so yeah, uh, it was never about the money. It was never about becoming famous. It was never about anything like that. It was always just about, this is what I enjoy doing. I've always wanted to do it since I was a kid and I'll put out videos on, at the time it was mostly Halo. Halo, Splitgate, other games here and there. Uh, that was, that was what I did. If my camera could focus, that'd be really nice. Yeah, so uh, it's allowed me to do that a lot more. Um, obviously the channel has grown. Uh, I was looking at the views that I'm getting recently and I think my past uh, like six videos or something are all like a thousand views and over. One of them has 12k, another one has 5k, another one has 3k and I'm like th those are numbers that I never got prior. Wait no, yeah prior to me losing my job. Obviously the, the channel grew massively and it's really like allowed me to you know, not, I don't do this as a full-time job, I don't make nearly enough for it to be that yet, but it's allowed me to do this more and it's allowed me to really like realize, yeah, like in the long run, this is what I want to do. Like this is what I want to turn uh, into my career, if, if at all possible, right? Um, so yeah, uh, and it's also allowed me to branch out in the style of videos that I've been, I've been doing. Um, I used to do Halo videos all the time, um, so I used to play God, back in, I don't know what day it was, but back in like 2018, 2019 when the channel started, I think I started with Halo 5 content, then I'd go back and do nostalgic things on like Halo 3, Halo 2, um, Halo Reach, etc. Always been a Halo fan since I was about 8 years old, and that is what my channel was centered around. Um, and then, I got a bit bored of doing Halo, it became like the only game that I played pretty much. And I made it my mission to play more games this year. And I don't think I would have accomplished that goal without the help of streaming on YouTube, people suggesting games, and me switching up my style of content because I felt like I needed to uh, after losing my job. Obviously, the loss of my job was regarding technology, AI, automation, etc. Right? And more people from that became invested in, in me as a person rather than the games I was playing and allowed me to branch out into different styles of content. Uh, before, my audience, um, as small as it was, I think I you know, had like maybe uh, 1,000 to 2,000 subs, something like that, before the channel exploded for a month or so. Um, it was predominantly Halo and Splitgate, so that's what I did. And I always found that if I branched out for the odd video, it would get significantly less views than the other stuff. And a lot of people fall into this trap. It was always a fear um, of making a YouTube channel where I would be trapped into a niche of you have to play this game, otherwise people aren't interested. This happens to big streamers as well. It used to happen to people like Ninja. If Ninja played Fortnite, you know, he'd get whatever he used to get, like 90k to 100k viewers. But if he went and played something else, like I think at one time he was interested in Final Fantasy, his viewers would drop down to like 20k, which obviously is still huge, right? But when it's like, oh, more than half of your audience aren't interested in you doing something else that you're actually passionate about, it must have been a huge blow to him. Um, and it was a huge blow to me when I'd do Halo videos that'd get 2,000, 3,000 views but then do a video of me playing something else uh, that'd get 200 views, right? Um, so yeah, I think that this this has allowed me to reach more people, a, a bigger, broader, more diverse audience, um, and allowed me to branch out in the, the style of style of content in terms of, you know, the, the topics and, and everything. Uh, so it's, it's kind of a good thing. Um, yeah. 
I don't think like you know I wouldn't I wouldn't be in this position YouTube wise if my life was still the same. I'd probably still be making Halo videos. I think because of everything that's unfolded, uh, people have become more familiar with me as a person, my life, my situation, my story, etc. And some people genuinely seem to care about it, which is really cool. Um, I've made more, I want to say friends, but I don't really like know them but i play games with people here and there that i that have discovered me through youtube i've connected with other creators things like that i'd consider some of them friends um some of them i maybe don't know well enough uh, but i'd like to be friends with more people i'd like to get to know more creators i'd like to uh, something i really want to do is one day join some kind of like team or group or something as i've always loved watching group content uh, from the Sidemen videos to people that play like uh, fun party games like Mario Party content together on the couch, sofa, whatever, stuff like that. That's something that I want to get involved with at some point in my life. Um, and I feel like, you know, there's an opportunity maybe for that in the future. All because of, you know, one scenario, because of one day. And thinking about it as well, I haven't played Halo for months. I don't think I've played Halo for like two months, maybe coming up to three. Which is wild, because I've been doing content like every... I think on average I've been uploading like every three days since I lost my job. Um, and the days where I don't upload, I do a live stream. And the fact that like thousands of people tune in to me talking about AI and technology, or playing a different game, or talking about gaming news, uh, or just my life, you know, updates and stuff like that is insane. That would have that would have never happened before. Um, so... Very cool. It's wild that I can live stream me playing some random indie game. And sometimes, like, who knows? You know, like, 20 people might tune in. And then later on, I'll check the video um, after the live stream has been, you know, been posted as a video. And there's, like, 200 extra people that have gone and watch it. If I make an actual dedicated, like, video video about something, then thousands of people watch. It's just, like, wow. <laughs> There's that saying, you know, and I think a, a couple of people have said this to me uh, after I lost my job. There's that saying that you know everyone says the cliche thing, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> but in a weird way, it might do. Like, you know, uh, there's some days, especially today, this has happened as well. This happens a lot of days now, actually. I'll sit there and I'll be like, still don't have a job. This is going on for a while now, starting to get a little bit scared um, because in... What are we on now? Almost the ninth month. So in, in two months, in eight weeks, my bank account will be very low to the point where I won't be able to pay my mortgage. <laughs> and that's a very scary position to be in. I have two months to find a job. Uh, but there's also this weird sensation that's like, you know, a little bit of little bit of happiness, a little bit of uh, like uh, glad isn't a sensation, but you know, in a way, like glad that it happened in a weird way. And and if I do pull this off and I get a job and the YouTube thing keeps going, maybe there's a world in which this becomes something I make, you know, full time or maybe even part time income from. Um, and I actually get to do something that I really, really enjoy. Uh, because I, I said this in in the first video, in in the video where I um, announced that I lost my job, I said like halfway through. Design was always my realistic career goal, right? It was like the the dream realistic career. Design is, I don't think I've, I've ever said it in this way, but like being a graphic designer was not my, my, my dream job. I never wanted to be a graphic designer. Like I never wanted a life where I would be a graphic designer from the age of 18 until 60 whatever when i retire that's not what i wanted it was it was just a skill that i had that i self-taught out of some interest because i used to make uh youtube thumbnails twitter headers avatars um banners for uh youtube channels and whatever else it may be logos icons uh twitch emails you know that kind of stuff right used to make all that stuff and it's just something that I knew how to do. I had an interest and I thought why not capitalize on this rather than getting a rather than getting a retail job, right? But it's never something that I like wanted to really pursue and, and like master, right? I got to a stage which was very obvious where I knew enough to get a middleweight role, possibly a lead at the company I was at if I stayed there for longer. 
Um, I basically did, I was basically client side lead, uh, but that was only because the person above me left. So I didn't earn a promotion, I just, you know, I got bumped up because the person above me left, so naturally. Um, but it wasn't something where I wanted to like eventually go and work for one of the biggest design agencies and, and make loads of money and be on like, you know, 70 or 80k a year or something for designing things and work with the biggest brands or whatever. Like, you know, that was, that was not my goal. And I think I would have said no to an opportunity like that because it would just been so much more stress as well. I was very happy just knowing what I knew not really uh, learning any new design skills and just getting by doing that um, while I pursued other things like the jewelry business or the plushies that I sell or the YouTube channel or the video game I was making. The signs were always there that design was not what I wanted to do long term because I was always so like, you know, had eggs in multiple baskets and I think I was always so invested in other things. I mean, at one point, I even had a, a perfume uh, business. Here we go. I've just uh, just gone to my room to get... I actually have one. Here's one of the balls. Um, there you go. Fully. Has it got any left in it? Oh, a tiny bit left in it. I've used this one a lot. Um, yeah, I used to use it myself. I liked it. It was uh, like an, an Aventus Creed. Uh, Creed Aventus, like clone perfume. You know, those ones that you'll get on... Here's another brand, actually, that does something really similar. Um... There you go. Uh, so yeah, it was one of, one of those things. Didn't do like amazingly well. I think I sold maybe like something like 20 bottles of it or something. Um, but yeah, the signs were always there when I, I wanted to do something else. Uh, just something that like I was interested in and that I owned. And uh, yeah, you know, so, so many different ideas and projects and, and things like that. Um, it was painfully obvious that I didn't want to do design full time. I think even my, my, my boss at the time may have known this. He said... Where, when he uh, when he made me redundant, I had a little conversation with him. I don't know about I don't know how much I've I've said this on the channel, um, but he was he was outside the office smoking a cigarette, <laughs> um, and I, I walked up to him and he said, yeah, "Hi, Jaden, how are you? Whatever." Um, and that's my name, by the way. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people I've I've seen some people like th say that they thought my name was actually Nade. Uh, but then if you've joined my Discord server or, like, my, viewed my portfolio or anything, you know, my name is actually Jaden. I think it's on the channel somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, he said, like, you know, hi, Jaden, how are you, blah, blah, blah. We spoke for a bit. And I asked him, like, in your opinion, like, what, what do you think I should I should do? You know, what, what kind of design job should I go for? Should I work in another agency or be an in-house designer somewhere? And he said, I don't think you should do any of that. I think you will be happiest if you end up working for yourself, whether that's being a design freelancer, having your own agency like company, or just doing something that you are interested in. He knew that I sell I sold watches. He, he bought some off me. Um, at one point, one of the other owners of the business was talking about investing in that with me when it was making a decent amount of money. Um, so yeah, I think he, he as well knew that there were signs that I was there because it was something I knew how to do. It was somewhat easy. Uh, brought me a you know stable income at the time, um, but it wasn't what I wanted to do long term. And I think that, you know, in a in a weird way, although it sucks that he <laughs> made me redundant, laid me off, um, it could be a weird blessing in disguise because it has allowed me to pursue something that I'm interested in again. And I, I'm always excited to make videos and post videos. Uh, read comments, interact with people. I want to do content that involves a group setting with more people, connect with more creators, do in-person content. That's why I've bought microphones where I can clip them to my shirt, go out in public, do stuff like that. I've just dropped that on my desk. <laughs> um, I bought new cameras for my streaming setup. You know, I'm, I'm investing in the content slowly. Um, and yeah, it's like I have something that I'm passionate about again, um, which is good. So yeah, that's kind of uh, that, that's that's kind of it. Um, you know, if there's a, if there's a UK YouTube group, so if anyone watches this, that's part of a UK YouTube group, 
hi. <laughs> um, I'd love to do some in-person content at some point uh, when I have the funds available to travel and <laughs> things like that. Um, or even just online, play some games, whatever it may be. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's my that's my ramble. Um, obviously, it's not all positive, as I said. You know, there is there are days where I'm just here like, oh god, pretty scared. What's going to happen? Um, but end of the story. You know, conclusion is that I think I might be happier just getting a retail warehouse, etc., some other kind of job that's not an office job to make money while I pursue the YouTube thing. And maybe it would be a nice change of pace because, God, I'm telling you now, some people might think that I had like a cushy job that was quite nice and, you know, I didn't do much work and I didn't travel. Eventually I worked at home um, and I could just like essentially get up at, you know, 9 a.m. And when I finished at 5.30, I was already here at my desk ready to play games, etc. But let me tell you, that's not all it's like made out to be. It is sometimes, it's going to sound weird for some people, but some people in the comments will understand. It can be the most tiring thing in the world to have to sit in the same seat and look at the same screen for like eight hours on end. It can be one of the most draining, boring, tiring things. And sometimes, yeah, having to travel to work, having to work in an environment where you need to walk around, and then you get your one hour or 30 minutes to sit down and have your break, eat your food, get back up again, be active again. It's nice. Break things up. Then you get home. Then you sit down for three or four hours. Then you play your games. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. So, yeah. All right. That's my ramble. This will probably be like 15 minutes long. And um, some people might got bored. It also might be a bit incoherent a bit of a ramble um some of it may have not made sense but hopefully a lot of it does yeah all right that's uh, that's gonna be it i don't think i have anything else to say um on the matter yeah. <laughs> all right i'll see you in whatever the, the next video is um yeah also that that patch is really starting to annoy me but what do i do with it i can't just paint over it right it looks silly um do I, I think I need to like prime it first and then paint over it. I'll have to, I'll have to ask someone that knows. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> Bye.